all right my good people and now welcome back again to anointed lady tv i don't come your screen with another legit intel i don't come your screen with another breaking news only things and things really happen for inside with nation nigeria the coco now be safe the former governor of edo state will be godwin obaseki before in come out for office in do one kind of thing like this obviously the general public need to know about them before oga godwin obaseki come out for office as the governor of edo state he grants pardon to a 77 year old man and 15 others with the on roip role for inside the nigerian correctional service that is to say these 16 individuals these 16 countrymen and they don't already sign them. Courts don't already rule them. Say these men, they will last last beer a rule IP. You know, get us in one bit. But now, Oga Godwin Obaseki, he don't show mercy. He don't give them pardon. All these levels now was contained in a statement with a release on Tuesday for inside Benin City. And the person who released these statements now, one countryman with the group by the name Aminu Suleiman, he now the public relations officer with the PRO for the Nigerian Correctional Service for Edo State command and according to Oga Suleiman, he said the former governor of Edo State will be Godwin Obaseki. Now he signed the warrants for the release of the inmates them. And Oga Godwin Obaseki fit do all these levels because he that time he still be the governor of Edo State and he can the flex in powers with the conferred on him by section 212 of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended and other laws will enable him to take those kind of decision to do that kind of level at the matano ndl the command spokesman will be august suleiman because they let the general public they know say this decision of the former edo state governor so he they follow recommendations from the advisory council on prerogative of mercy now then they review pardon request considering some kind factors that is to say based on one or two if you bring request of pardon if you consider them and according to Oga Suleiman, he said before they do review pardon request, the factors where they consider they include the severity and the type of crime, plus the inmates their age at conviction and currently, as well as length of time served. That is the kind of crime where you commit and the weight whether your crime carry, and the age where you did it, where them grab you, and how long way your sentence could be. And how long will you don't serve your sentence? Like how long will you don't day for prison? Meanwhile, other factors according to him they include medical concern or special needs, plus evidence of positive change and rehabilitation program participation. And he consider Yan say the state controller of correction, so they go by the name Philomena. Say on behalf of the controller general of correction, so they go by the name Haliru Nababa. They express gratitude to the former governor for the compassionate decision. And Madam Philomena Consider Yan said the pardon now it will help reformative and rehabilitative programs within the custodial centers. She can urge the public to make them accept these individuals, may they offer support and may they provide a second chance. She they appeal now they give the general public Say may they no stigmatize former offenders, but may they accept them, may they no cast ex-convicts away, or may they embrace them, may they give them a second chance, and may they try give them whatsoever assistance that is required. And not be smart, you know, my good people. The former governor of Edo State to be Godwin Obaseki, in Kondi Yan, say like this now, in don't bring innovations into many sectors of the state economy during this in eight year stewardship as governor. And Oga Godwin Obaseki in the yarn all this level during one live broadcast on Monday night. And for inside this in broadcast, nine constantly yarn. Say this in administration, he faced significant challenges. So, but last last, the administration still achieved notable advancements in governance and infrastructure. He consider yarn, no say, as he enter office for inside the year 2016, he don't prioritize a transformative agenda rather than maintaining the status quo and according to him the decision can lead to extensive reforms across various sectors where they include educational sector plus healthcare sector and agricultural sector oga god university will be the former governor of edo state he no bad break for there at all because he proceed further the yarn say he may focus on rebuilding state institutions rather than empowering individuals or godfathers 
and he said the result was the current robust civil service for inside Edo State. According to Ainte de Yanam, he said infrastructure improvements are evident with over 850 kilometers of road constructed and nearly 1,000 megawatts of electricity generated on a daily basis. So all these developments now don't position Edo State as a leader in Nigeria's economic landscape and in education. Obaseki Initiative Nikon train over 15,000 teachers and they constantly enhance the learning experience for nearly 400,000 children. This commitment now it can make Edo State a benchmark for educational excellence for inside Africa. All this level of my good people now the things and things will come aside from the mouth of the former governor of Edo State, maybe Godwin Obaseki. And the coconut still finish there, oh my good people. Like this now, uh, the matter is plenty. The former governor considered the trial lets the general public know, say, the Tawe is still be governor of Edo State. He still tackle human trafficking by improving vocational training, by creating job opportunities, and reintegrating more than 6,000 returnees. And he said the healthcare system was very much upgraded with modern facilities and a health insurance scheme where they cover over 300,000 residents. And the revitalization of the Stella Obasanjo Hospital, it they exemplify the advancement. That is the hospital now, now evidence of a good work. Not be small matter like this, so my good people. It cost the year, no say, the community-led security network where it introduced, it don't ensure safety. It don't make Edo State one of the most peaceful states for inside the South-South zone. And it's a agricultural initiative can transform Edo State into a leading producer of palm oil and cassava. Investment in this sector now, it don't create thousands of jobs and it don't enhance food security. And the focus on technology, it don't lead to the establishment of innovation hubs we can empower youths in tech and creative industries. This strategy now they aim to reduce irregular migration by providing local opportunities and in the leave behind a comprehensive development plan for Edo State their future growth. And the aim of this blueprint now to sustain progress and guide Edo State's trajectory over the next three decades. On this level, eh, my good people, now the things and things we Oga Godwin Obaseki talk. In those comments side now, they yarn about the establishment. In the in the year and about the things and things we do for inside Edo State for the eight years we in serve as governor. Anyhow, this information is beautiful, body my good people. Feel free to make it drop them inside our comment section. Now we be anointed Lady TV. Now they give on our legit intel on the things and things where they happen for inside the nation Nigeria. So if you like this update and you would like to receive more, try make you subscribe to this channel and try make you put on the notification bell so that as we they bring the news they come. Now you go first receive the updates and you go get them sharp sharp. And they come inside again with another legit intel for you, my good people. I beg, no go anywhere.